I think I can demolish the atheistic argument permanently. And it's partly, it's a weird thing because it's not like all of a sudden people are going to throw themselves at the feet of God and worship. It's like, it requires a reconsideration of what we mean by belief. And I walked through some of it. It's like, do you believe in the good? Well, there, the difference between believing in good and believing in God is, it's, it's a very narrow difference. Now, there are important differences, but it's still a narrow difference. And the thing is, if you don't believe in, in good, you're aimless, and if you're aimless, you're hopeless. And if you're aimless and hopeless, you're anxious and fractionated, and people can't unite in their beliefs. Like, the, the alternative is not good. Yes, the ultimate standard of goodness does come from God, because if man defines what is good, then we have the broken world that we have today. But there is a more powerful argument for the existence of God, and that is whatever begins to exist has a cause. The universe began to exist, thus the universe has a cause.